Blake Rockington, family member, strong person, daughter, cousin, transgender. Blake was a very strong person. He fought for rights so others could have what he didn't. He held rallies. He raised over $2,000 at his school. He won prom king. Everything was going okay. But on today, March 23rd, 2016, Blake committed suicide. From what I know, he felt he was doing fine, but it only takes something, a small push to push you off. Growing up, growing up, Blake kind of had a different life. Coming from the family that we come from, it was a very strong Christian-based fam family. So a lot of them were kind of simple. They were in their own mindset and they couldn't think past of what they already knew. But Blake loved him anyway. <laughs> and we we love Blake with all of our hearts. Blake Blake was my cousin. Growing up, we had so much fun together. We would play basketball and we would talk and we would laugh and we just spent a, a lot of time together. But we didn't live in the same places. So we, whenever we got to see each other, it was so great to hang out. We did family events and went to church and it was great <laughs> just being with him. He transitioned in his sophomore year of high school. And that's when he started going by Blake. When I heard that Blake had passed away, I was very hurt. I'm not one to normally cry, but this broke my heart to know that someone that I've known since I was a little girl is no longer with me, that I can't pick up the phone and say hi, or I can't go and say hi, I can't go visit him anymore. All I have with me are my memories. But I can't imagine how his mother felt or his friends felt. These people who have seen him every day. I can't imagine how his mother felt. That's your child. And to wake up and say that my child isn't here anymore because of others' ignorance. Blake was here right now. I want to tell him that things have changed. Oh, I feel like they have changed. That I hope that I hope that he knows that we all love him for who he is. We love him for what's on the inside, not what's on the outside. And I'm sorry that what people don't know, their ignorance hinders them. They focus on what they want to see and not what they need to see. Being transgender isn't something that should change how the way people look at you or the way people think of you. I knew you before and if you change your appearance or do something different with who you are and came to me and told me that this is who you are, that shouldn't change a thing. And it really, it shouldn't even change a thing. If somebody came to me and say, if somebody said, hey, I'm transgender, okay, nice to meet you, I'm Simone. If I met you and said, hi, I'm Simone. And then a few days later came back and say, hey, I'm Shaquita. You should look at me and be like, oh, okay. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't change a thing. You knew me for who I was. And that shouldn't change a thing. Being transgender or being gay or being straight or being bisexual or being anything doesn't change who you are. And I know there are a lot of people going through this big, probably the same thing with Blake was going through, feeling alone. You're not alone. There are many people, and there are a lot of people who care about you, they're just blind. Know in your heart that they love you, they just don't know what they're putting you through. What I wanna say to you is that you are loved. You shouldn't feel alone. If you need a person, I'm here. I promised myself after Blake passed away that a pinky promise meant something promised that I would never let another person go through what Blake felt, how Blake felt, alone, and like there was nobody there for him. So I'm giving you that pinky promise that it's go it'll get better. That's a promise I'm willing to keep. I love you, Blake Brockington, forever and always. If you're ever feeling alone or feeling like there's something that others don't understand or won't ever understand, please don't hurt yourself or ever think about hurting yourself. If you are, there's just a wonderful, wonderful project going around, going that's around here that's to your disposal. It's called the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project helps 
many people if you're feeling alone or just need somebody to talk to who will understand, who will be that shoulder to cry in, who will be there for you. They work together to help everybody. They don't judge. The Trevor Project is blind. They see you for who you are, not who other what others want you to be. If you are someone you know is feeling suicidal or feeling down and out, please call the Trevor Project hotline. Please call the hotline. I wouldn't want anybody in your family to feel the way my family felt after we left Lost Blake. And if you need other resources, please, please visit thetrevorproject.org. Bye.